give everyone a minute to do that. Okay, so it looks like everybody can hear me. To start off with QuickBooks Online into Telpay, we are going to go to our website, which is telpay.ca. Then under the support page, you'll find step-by-step -step instructions on how to integrate QuickBooks Online with Telpay. So we're going to go into the payroll category under the support section. And on the right-hand side here, there's step-by-step -step instructions. So we're going to go into step one. So first of all, you need to ensure that you're running the most recent version of the Telpay software. And to check for that, on the main login page of your software, right under the Telpay icon, you'll see the version. So the version you need to be on is 6.6.157. And if you are not on that version, you can download the most recent version of the software on our website. Okay, so once you've ensured that you're using 6.6.157, you're going to select the register and download. And then you're going to fill this quick form out here. So you're going to enter your company name, your email address, your name, and your company's access number. Once you have that filled out, you're going to hit the send button. And once you hit the send button, it'll bring you to another internet page and you're going to click where it says download file. So you're going to download this new file. Um, you're going to replace an existing file in your software. And you need to replace this file so your banking information is retained in Telpay. Uh, after the first time you do your import, you're going to key your banking information in. So you only have to do it once, as long as you replace this file, which is called TP Book. So we're going to save that file. And once it's completed, you can just close that. And then you're going to go into the drive in which your Telpay is stored. And if you don't know where it's stored, you can right-click on the icon on your desktop and hit Properties. And then under Target, it will show you the letter drive. So my Telpay is stored in my C drive. So I'm going to go into my C drive and into my Bill Pay folder, into my Telpay folder, and I'm going to find my existing TP bulk file. So it's going to say TP bulk.dll. So I'm going to right click and rename this one. And I'm going to rename it .old. So once you've renamed your TP bulk file .old, you're going to go into your downloads, and you're going to find your new tpbulk.dll file. You're going to right-click on that and copy. And then if you just hit your back arrow once, you'll be back into your Telpay folder. And then you can right-click anywhere and paste. And then now you should have tpbulk.dll.old and tpbulk.dll. And you only have to do that the very first time. OK, so then you can get out of there. Then if you go back to our support page and back to payroll, we're going to move on to step two. So step two is actually making a connection from QuickBooks Online to Telpay. And the Telpay product you're going to be using is called Telpay Connect. And you're going to want to save this in your favorites. Um, you will need this every time you're going to connect with QuickBooks. So once you've ensured that your QuickBooks uh, payroll file is completed, you're going to go to Telpay Connect and press Connect to QuickBooks. And if you aren't already signed into your QuickBooks online, you will be prompted to sign in. And this is your QuickBooks sign in. Okay, once you've signed in to your QuickBooks, you're going to make the connection from your QuickBooks Online to your Telpay Connect. So you're going to press Authorize. And once this made the connection, you're going to choose the date of the payroll that you've already created in your QuickBooks Online. So in this case, I've made a payroll for the 3rd of March. And then you're going to press the Download Now button. 
And you want to open or save this file, you are going to save this file, and it is called ncr200web.ttq. So save. And once the download is completed, then you can close that. And now you're going to need to log into your Telbase. Okay, once you've looked into your Telpa, you're going to go under the Importing or Creating Payroll Files. And just to let you know, I'm going to briefly go through the uh, steps of payroll, um, assuming that everyone has already done payroll with Telpa. And if you have not, we will be having a webinar tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Central Time on payroll training. Okay, so you're going to press the Re-Import a File button. And then you're going to go to download. And then the file name, you're going to type in star dot star and open. And now you're going to look for the ncr200web.ttq file. And then you're going to open that. And the file will be sitting here in your Telpay file format. So you're going to select that file and press next step. So the very first time you auto import, you'll need, or sorry, you import from Telpay online, you're going to need to key in your banking information. And once you have all your banking information keyed in, I might ask you to confirm it for accuracy. And if you do see anybody in yellow, that's okay. It just means that they're using either a credit union or TD bank. And there are multiple account patterns, so we just can't validate that specific account pattern. And then you're going to select the check date of your payroll. So I want my employees to be paid on Wednesday, March 4th. Then I'm going to hit the next button. And you have the option to remit your source deductions as well, but today we're just going to do the payroll. So I'm going to press Submit for Transmission. And then it will prompt you to print your first report. And then you are required to confirm all of these boxes. So your file date, which would be today, the earliest date to be credited to your employees' bank accounts would be the 4th of March, the total deposits to count, the number of deposits, and then you're going to hit next. And at this point is where you're either going to key in your authorized officer's password or press the email for approval button. So since I have the uh, authorization to send the payment, I'm going to put my password in and select my payment option. And since I want my employees to be paid in on March 4th, I'm going to have to send the funds to Telpay through my online banking. And you're going to hit send payment. going to connect to Telpay. And then you'll be asked to view or print your transmission report and continue. So I'm going to hit continue. And then the last step is to do your session backup. And this is very important in case you ever have a computer crash um, you will need this backup to get going again. Okay. And then it brings you back to your main menu, so we're done in Telpay for now. Um, so yeah, that is integrating Telpay Online with, uh, sorry, QuickBooks Online with Telpay. And if anyone has any questions, if you want to key them into the question area now, I can answer them. And I